রাষ্ট্রের প্রাক্তন মুখ্যমন্ত্রী মনোহর যোশীর প্রয়াণে শোক জ্ঞাপন করেছেন এক্সপোস্ট এক বার্তায় শ্রী মোদী বলেছেন মহারাষ্ট্রের মুখ্যমন্ত্রী হিসেবে শ্রী যোশী রাজ্যের উন্নয়নে নিরলসভাবে কাজ করে গেছেন Here I am getting only one radio station because we have only one AM radio station in India. Anyway, AM radio station is doing very well but uh, now we'll see how well shortwave radio is doing. And antenna is very important for shortwave. Now I am getting some radio station but uh, they are not worth listening to at all because shortwave radio station are not available in India and those I am receiving will be from other countries radio station. Let's take a look the frequency range of medium wave radio. See, it is clearly written that MW radio frequencies work between 535 kHz to 1605 kHz. We have only one radio station in Kolkata which is Akashbani Motri 594 kHz and whose wavelength is 505 meter. But now the main question is how to decode this specific frequency range. That is why I took the help this radio book and here it is clearly written how you can receive the radio signal. From this image you can clearly understand what the frequency look like when it is in the air and what the signal look like after receiving it. The main receiving key is LC. L stand for inductor and C stand for capacitor. To find your desired frequency you need to calculate this formula. Since our frequency is not constant it is variable. So here I am going to use a variable capacitor and this capacitor value is 50 pf to 275 pf. So now we have the capacitor value and our desired frequency. Now we just to figure out which inductor is needed. Suppose my frequency will be 1300 kHz and capacitance will be 50 pf. Then by calculating in this formula our answer will be 0 0.30 millihenry inductor. Conversely if we assume my frequency is 554 kHz and the capacitance will be 275 pf then our answer will be 0 0.30 millihenry. So now I am going to make an inductor and I am going to use a sidebar of E33 softcore transformer to make this inductor. It is perfect for this kind of job. Here I will use 0.22 millihenry thin copper wire. And guys inductor making formula is also exist. But if I want to tell it in details now it will be take a long time. So I am just telling you that if you twist a 92 time then hopefully you will make a 0 0.30 millihenry. Oops, I forget about the short wave radio. For the short wave radio, you need to twist 9 times and the entire coil will be produced 0.30 milli handy and, and this 9 twist will be produced 2 micro handy. If I measure it with my LC meter, you will see it shows exact 0.30 milli handy. But guys, my LC meter can't measure this short wave low value. So that is why it's showing me this short wave coil as just resistance. But I want to do another experiment to understand everything in better way. Okay, let's see if it oscillate at the exact frequency if I connect to a transistor with this LC. That is why I will use here 548 uh, transistor here. It is uh, correct for this kind of task. If I can hear a radio station then I can do a next experiment. Needless to say here all this type of circuit actually act as a regenerator oscillator and uh, and for this for powering up everything I am going to use this uh, 1.5 volt AA battery and antenna is of course essential for this circuit and remember you need a high impedance headphone you would not hear it with an amplifier because of noise this headphone coil will act as a low pass filter anyway let's see if i can hear my radio station and amazingly our akashbani motri we received so my hard work has been successfully. Out of curiosity I want to see on the oscilloscope if it is 594 kHz. Yes you can see 594 kHz resonant here. But the signal is very very weak. You can't hear anything without an antenna. With that after so much experimenting now understand how to make a proper radio with very few component. So I made a diagram as usual. If you look closely at this diagram you will see there. Here I used a capacitor and resistor which is determine the bias of this transistor. LC circuit is also present here by tune the frequency of our choice. This is the radio band selection switch that I told you about earlier. The full coil is for AM radio and the 9 turn is for SW radio. It is a good practice to create a plan before building something. So as usual I made a 3D model of my radio so that I don't have any problem while building it. To do this work I will use 7550mm cover dot board. I will cut it down middle just like this. 
so that I can use it as my plan. Now my first step is to properly mount this variable capacitor into this board. And one thing, try to keep this variable capacitor as close to your radio circuit as possible. And this variable capacitor is it. Most important is this switch, through which we can select medium wave and short wave. And this second transistor is the AGF control transistor. Oh sorry, it will work as a GF control in my case, which will be done by this potentiometer, which I will show you in details later. This is the last output transistor through which we can get an audible voice. Here, see, this two diode will keep the EMF of the inductor within a limit if we are using 3.7 volt battery. It took me about 3 hours to build this radio circuit. It may take a more time for you, but uh, if you are patient, you can build it. Also, I made a 3D printed wheel for this variable capacitor with which I can easily tune my desired radio station. This is important to say here, never tune variable capacitor by hand, then you may not be able to tune the correct channel. In another copper board, I have built another circuit which is audio amplifier circuit. Ho hopefully there is nothing special to show about it and I used LM386 IC to make it. A special feature of this circuit is that it can easily fit together nicely and that way I designed it in a 3D model. And guys see here in this empty space, I will seat our AM coil. So I have installed it as usual. And guys, when you soldered this wire, you must remember the SW and AM radio coil wire. To properly mount it to the board, I used a 3D printed structure. You can print out if you want. So finally, my radio circuit is complete and look exactly that way I want it to look. So now I need a speaker through which I can hear a listenable sound. So I created a 3D model for the exact sound of the speaker. And after it printed whole night, my speaker was ready in the morning. And definitely you have to take out the support material it because I don't need any kind of support material here. After mounting my speaker, it look pretty good. So anyway, let's check out the radio physically. To run this radio, I will use 3.7 volt lithium ion battery here. Oh, this noise. This noise is caused by high gain and uh, it is controlling by AGC, which means automatic gain control system. But in my case, there is no AGC. which is limited to gain control only and this GC I can control by tuning this potentiometer see once you get the GC tuned correctly you should have a no problem listening to your favorite radio station Now if I connect the antenna, you can see the significant change in this sound. Use at least 5 feet pieces of wire as an antenna for good result. I think this is a practical AM radio that you can use every day. Even you can also make it your study field from which you can gain a lot of knowledge. And remember that analog is the first chapter of electronics. Visit my website for better details and all the information link is in the description box. So anyway, this was today's video. If you like this video, like it. See you again in the next video.